Hey, I'm Will. Thanks a lot for joining me today. My tip for you guys is how to hold this thing, the guitar pick. All right, so let's get into it. I'm gonna show it to you from your point of view. Well, let's crack it out. Okay, so let's learn how to hold this darn pick. So everybody rest your pick on your finger just like I got it going on right here. And squeeze it with your thumb. Now all you're gonna do is just curl your finger around it, okay? So again, rest your pick on your finger, thumb down, finger curls around it. Now if your finger's ending up on this side of the pick, just snug it in there a little bit more so that your fingernail is kind of lined up with the pick. And if you end up like this, I need you guys to snug up this way. So just only let, you know, like a, a quarter of it stick out. So when you get your hand down here, and just check it out, it puts your hand, your pick at a nice angle. So we don't actually want it flat against the string. We want a little bit of an angle, which will allow you to get onto the next strings faster and smoother. Just a quick review, all right? Stability points. Going across the strings. Holding our pick with our finger curl, all right? What I wanna show you here is that if you just place a pick directly across the string, okay? Now, of course, the, pit, the string is touching the pick from here to here. Okay, we can see that. We can see it right through the pick, right? Now check this out. If you just put that pick on a little bit of an angle, then all of a sudden, all we have is the edge of the pick making contact with the string. And that's way less contact with the string. So, now if you're ever wondering what, uh, well, like how guitar players are able to play so fast or how, how they're able to play so clean. This is a huge, huge part. If we want to get onto the next string quicker and faster, all those techniques that I showed you in the, the other video sets you up really nicely for having a natural angle on the pick. So now we want a 45 degree angle. You can actually have it either direction. Um, I will say that um, if this direction is 12 o'clock, you know, about two o'clock or so is going to uh, be a little more common. However, I've seen some really great guitar players that have, have their pick angle going that way as well. Uh, so we wanna have our pick angle this way. So what I want you to do is imitate that Dick Dale song, um, The Surf King. He's uh, the song that intros Pulp Fiction. <laughs> So once you start getting it motoring, I want you to freeze. Okay? So I'm getting it motoring, get it going really fast, and then freeze. Now let's have a look. That's where my pick was. That's like even more than a 45 degree angle. We've got like, say that's 90, I guess that's 45. So it's right in that 45 degree angle kind of way. Now there's no way that you could play that same speed using all that string contact. It's just impossible. What this is going to do is make you play cleaner, faster, and more accurately. All right, so putting all those things together, it just makes you go a little less crazy, you know? Because then you can hit the right notes when you want to and just have more control over this, this thing. All right, keep on ripping it up.